Today's home workout is a loose belly fat workout and as your qualified trainer, Lucy Wyndham Reid, I've created this routine to help you safely and effectively reduce what we refer to as a visceral belly fat. That's the belly fat that sits deeper in those internal organs. So we want to reduce it for better health. So we're gonna start with a very quick warm up, and then we're gonna get straight into your eight minute loose belly fat workout. So just follow along, quick warm up. Let's just go for doing eight of these side steps. And if you prefer no coaching, just remember you can hit that mute button. And now just go for eight of these hamstring curls. And this is week three from my four minute um, lose belly fat series. Give me eight of these sunshine arms. And this is a free training program. And this is week three. So we're going to get ready to go straight into the workout. You're going to get a preview of the first move. So we're going to do a side step. You've got your hands together and just imagine you are rowing. So we're taking the arms from side to side. So let's come into position and now take that straight over. So it's an eight minute workout. Keep that core fully engaged. You can see the timer bar there that represents 30 seconds so we're just going from one side to the other and really swing round with those arms that's where you're going to really feel that working through those core muscles and you can see the next move coming up we're doing straight leg kicks and then taking it to power punches all right let's go straight into that next move so give me those four leg kicks and now give me four power punches and just keep alternating and keep your upper back straight as you kick that leg up so we're really engaging those abdominal muscles and give me those four power punches keeping that going that's good so you can see the next move coming up this one here is we're doing an ab swing so just imagine you are I don't know say like hitting a tennis ball so we're going to take both arms together and really put a swing through as you step forward keep your hands together and this is a really lovely cardio as well as ab sculpting move and keeping that going from one side to the other and really drive both those arms up and across so your next move simply we're doing the same but just on the opposite side so now hands together and reach over. So just imagine you're playing that game of tennis and you're hitting that ball really hard. And something to focus on right now is what you and I are doing is we are investing in your future health. So keep that controlled. So we keep moving, so we're working that cardio and we're also then really focusing on strengthening through your core. So next move coming up, we're doing side bends and we're going three on each side. So stand with your feet wide, then hip width distance apart, reach over for three and now take it to the opposite side. Knees are slightly bent. And what I want you to do is really reach over as far as you can with those three moves. Take that to the opposite side and keep going. That's good. So we've got eight moves today. Each one we do 30 seconds. We repeat it twice. All right, next move coming up is a really fun one. We're gonna step forwards and do a knee crunch. So let's get ready and give me that knee crunch. Step back and change legs and really drive the power through your knee. That's good and keep that going. Well done, that's good. Driving that up. So your next move is gonna really work on control here. We're gonna go for a knee lift and a upper body rotation. So if you struggle with balance, place one hand by a wall. If not, we're gonna take both arms up and you're just gonna lift the knee up and then you do a little twist. So what I want you to do is focus on keeping your hips facing forwards. So knee comes up and then you do a little twist on there. And because I'm gonna suggest you do this eight minute workout for the next seven days, the more often you do this, you will notice you are becoming fitter and stronger. So next move is we're just doing a V jump and punching both arms up. If you don't wanna do the high impact, what I want you to do is just do a fast a march on the spot. If you're doing this high intensity move, just focus on landing softly. 
And remember, this is part of a four week free training program. It's all about me getting you fitter and stronger. So next move coming up, we're back to that first move where we're doing that side step and then we're just imagining that we've got those rowing arms. All right, so let's get ready and take that across. Nice control, well done. So really feel this working through your waist, really use those arms, just go from one side to the other, really exaggerate that move. Keeping that nice and controlled. Really feel that working through your core. So next move coming up, we're going back to doing those four straight leg kicks with then four power punches. And let's get ready. Give me those four straight leg kicks. And now give me four of those power punches. Focus on keeping that upper body nice and straight. Put power behind each one of those punches. Kick that leg up as high as you can, but keep that upper body straight. And next move coming up, we're going straight into doing that tennis ball swing on there. So just imagine you're hitting that tennis ball really hard. So let's get ready and take that to the side and really drive that through those abdominals. So feel that control is coming from your core. Keep your hands together reach it across that's good all right well done halfway through on this one and work through that fullest range of motion so your next move coming up we're going to do exactly the same but just on the opposite side so let's get ready take it over and now just really add that swing so it's that full rotation through the upper body reach that across that's good and really just imagine you're hitting that ball really hard and just think, visualize where you're working. You're getting your core stronger, plus we're still doing that cardio, so we're getting that heart rate up, we're getting fitter and stronger. So next move, we're just gonna go for those step forward, knee, ab, knee crunches. So step forward and really drive that knee up and pull the arms in at the same time. And as you drive that knee up, squeeze your tummy muscle in really tight for me. That's good. Keeping that going. Nearly done. That's good. Drive that knee up. That's good. Keeping that nice control. All right, well done. So next move coming up. We're going to go straight into taking that knee up and just twist round with that upper body. So drive that knee up and control that round. Keeping that nice and controlled. That's good. So knee comes up and just rotate through that upper body. Feel that working through those abs. So then your next move, we're just going to go for those little power V jumps. If you don't want to do the jumping here, just simply take this to a fast march and just push up with those arms. Keep that going, we're nearly done. Reach arms up nice and high. Land softly with those feet. Last little bit, we've nearly finished today's workout. So let's just keep going to the end. And then we're just gonna do one final move, which we're just doing those power kicks and punches. All right, last little bit. Okay, let's take it to the last move now. Let's go for gold. And let's now give me those kicks. And now take it to those four power punches. Four kicks. Keep the upper body nice and straight. And remember, this workout is really safe to do. It's body weight. Do this from the program. And the great thing is with this, it is all about getting you healthy, fit and strong. And this is week three. So you want seven ticks, tick it off each day and then come back for week four. So well done. That is your workout complete. And you should feel super proud of yourself. There's your high five. And don't forget, you can tick this off. It's a free training plan and click up here to come and do a stretch with me. And I will see you back on my YouTube channel tomorrow.